Hey YouTube and welcome to the next part of the Wizard 101 walkthrough. And uh so let's go to this place right here. Electrified gate. Someone doesn't want you getting inside. And let's go port that to King Thermidor here. An electrified gate! Someone doesn't want you getting inside! Uh, thanks, thanks for confirming that. An electric gate! You know, we had some problem with Telurk heels nibbling on equipment. One of them caused an electrical short. You could use the Telurk eels to short out the gate. Why don't you collect some Telurk eels and try out my idea? And, um, yeah, so he wants to defeat six Telurk eels. And I uh, don't believe I ever showed me fighting before. I have gotten dragged in uh, by accident, but that was my fault. But I never actually showed me fighting them. So I just do speed the first battle up as always and I'm gonna cut the rest out. Um, so while this battle does go on, one second guys. I always have the volume for myself too loud. Um, <laughs> Cause I do use headphones when I am recording so you guys won't hear the audio from two places. Which is the original video and then my speakers. Um, so yeah, uh, the quality's back, everything should be back to normal in this video. No sound getting cut off anywhere. Um, should be how you're used to in every part except 58, <laughs> uh, which was, uh, when I'm making this, uh, 58 was uploaded uh, yesterday, uh, which was Monday. Um, again, I might post three Wizard 101 videos this week, um, possibly on a Wednesday and Thursday or something along those lines. I'm not sure if I will, uh, but obviously I will have a video on, uh, Thursday for sure, uh, of Wizard 101. And, uh, yes, a lot of you have been asking if I will be leaving battles in, or why sh why can't I leave some battles in. Don't worry guys, I will be, uh, Future Worlds, um, gonna be leaving battles in, uh, unedited, unsped up. Um, so yeah, there's the, uh, other people joined that battle, so there were four of them, and I got really lucky that the other people joined. Made my life a lot easier, and I just needed to do one more battle, which I did cut out. Um, I think you have enough to try to overload the gate. Alright, so let's go uh, disable the electric gate here, and uh, let me check right now something. And boom, we somehow disabled it. <laughs> Uh, but that's a little cool effect, they had the electric electricity going away. And I'm gonna check right now, uh, my internet is a little slow right now, that is because I'm uploading a video to my main uh, channel right now. Uh, this must be the storm chamber. Your magical theories and postulates are unwelcome here. This is an era for scientific progress. I will master these storm batteries in the River Clock Kingdom. We'll see a revolution like none before. Now prepare to face the fury of applied science. Alright, so we have to defeat this Dr. Zygmunt guy. And I, uh, he's not ranked as a boss. Again, I treat him as a boss because, uh, you, never, you don't find, you don't fight him again, rather. Sorry. Um. One second. <sighs> trying to look something up here uh, while this battle is going on. I do apologize. Um, maybe dish it. Uh, sorry, I really do apologize here. Um, Oh wow, I feel stupid. I spelled eels wrong. How do you spell eels wrong? Uh, <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I was right. I was uh, thinking that uh, the enemies, you know those Teloric eels we just fought? And I don't think they're the only one. I think uh, the River Claw Guards as well. Um, I believe I overkilled this guy. Do I? No. But um, yeah, they drop a reagent called an Aether which are really rare, and we will need them for crafting quests. Um, so, if you want to farm these guys for Aethers, go ahead. Now that you've walloped some sense into me, I see that I have gone mad with power. I thought to teach you a science lesson. 
but it was you who showed me the error of my ways. I had no idea my experiments with the storm batteries would cause so many problems. Together, we can make things right. I need you to find the storm battery parts that I damaged in my initial experiments. The currents spread them far and wide. Search the deep warrants for the broken pieces of the storm batteries and bring them back here. Alright, and uh, we have to collect five uh, items. By the way, do not mark the location inside of the um, the instance, the dungeon, uh, which is so-called mark it outside. Because you can't teleport back in, and you'll see my failure later on. I just speed it up because it is just collecting some items. Um, that's the second time I got stone block from there, which is uh, really nice. But you need five of those pieces. So like I was saying, uh, a lot of the mobs in here uh, drop a reagent called Aethers. And uh, they're really rare, you don't really find them in the bazaar. They are a little more common in the bazaar, uh, but uh, more than like something like a sunstone. But they're still not that common themselves, and right here is my fail. But, <laughs> herp derp, and uh, yeah, now I have to uh, walk all the way back. Um, but yeah, if you want to farm these guys, I don't know if I will be. Um, for those Aethers, I might just uh, farm the bazaar and buy them with gold. Um, team plus annoying. <laughs> but yeah, we got those five storm battery pieces. I'm gonna have to go back to the doctor here. Mr. Dr. Zygmunt. Good work finding the broken pieces. Unfortunately, I accidentally fed some of the lightning seeds to the telluric eels. It was an experiment. <laughs> Besides, they really liked them, though it did make them more aggressive. Strike that, move on. <laughs> you must defeat the telluric eels and recover the lightning seeds. Onward for science! Alright, and uh, he wants us to defeat some more telluric eels and collect a lightning seed and um mini spoiler i guess not really because i do cut the battle out i get it in my first battle i'm not sure um if it's gonna take you a bunch of tries because you only need one item so yeah there's the uh, lightning seed i got it in one battle uh, i'm not sure if it's gonna take a while or anything because usually quests that require you to fight a mo something to fight a mob and uh, recover an item take a really long time and uh, there'll be a prime example of that in a much later world, in the uh, second to last world. Uh, so back to Doctor. Splendid! Now we have everything we need to make the world safe. For science, I mean, <laughs> get things back to normal. Now that we have the pieces of the storm batteries and the lightning seeds, it's a simple matter to put it all together. I will monitor the flow from this position and save the while you engineer the repair. You just put the pieces where you think they should go, and then I'll turn on the current. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, of course, yeah, what could possibly go wrong? And this guy is actually just fighting the doctor here. Um, but yeah, you just have to put these uh, storm battery pieces in here, and uh, yeah. The storm <laughs> batteries look like they have been restored to working order. And surprisingly, I don't think anything went wrong, so. Yeah. Very good, my young scientist. Our <laughs> wizard. The telluric eel should no longer be a problem. The storm batteries are fixed. You should go fetch back the king now. And uh, yeah, let's go uh, back to Thermidor here. Uh, tell him uh, we can go back now. Because everything's fine and dandy down here. So, yeah, here's King Thermidor. You again? You want to go home? What's the rush? We have all the time in the spire. You fixed the storm battery and put the super smart science guy in his place, did you? All's well, I suppose. Oh, I forgot that my kingdom's been taken over by an imposter, my old rival, King Amadeo of the River Claw. If only you had my royal seal. What's that? You do? Oh, wonderful! My royal seal will allow you to get into the royal tower, past the guards. And I cut ahead to the royal tower because that's just where uh, King Amadeo is. Um, mm, the royal seal, huh? of course, go right in. If you remember, we delivered him some tea and crumpets, and then uh, we jacked his royal seal, or well, not his, but King Thermidor's. But uh, we're gonna go back in, and we're gonna confront this jackass. So. <laughs> See how that works out.
I'm just gonna walk right on this red carpet, yes. <laughs> ah, it is my favorite procure of tea and crumpets. Did you bring me more fine delectables? What? You dare to call me King Amadeo, I mean King Fermanor, an imposter? How disrespectful. Wait a moment. You are no simple baker of tasty pastries, are you? You stand revealed as a wizard of Wizard City. Very well, young wizard. You may have seen through my disguise, but you won't leave the royal tower alive. And uh, now we have to uh, destroy King Amadeo in here. Uh, he's a storm boss here, but uh, you see his HP. You're not really boss like. Then again, this uh, area was made for wizards level 12, and considering we are over double that level. Well, you get the point. <laughs> oh, I think I overkill this guy just for fun. Um, I think a blade and a, a vampire or a banshee would definitely uh, do the job. Um, he's going to just launch his storm bats and storm snake at you. If we were level 12, this actually might be challenging. But, because I think, I, what do we have the banshee at level 12? I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. I, we definitely have Ghoul at level 12. I don't know if we have Banshee at level 12. I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I'm really happy this video is back to normal. Everything's back to normal here. The time length, 16 minutes, which is how I like them. Um, the regular quality and everything. So, Also guys, uh, so I'm always saying now, sign up at our forums. To stay up to date with Rantech, link will be in the description, as always. And, uh, yeah, I could have overkilled him even more, um, but I uh, didn't for the sake of the walkthrough and time saving. I am undone to be defeated in such a strange and foreign land. For shame. Now we got that badge. That I think it was training. Underwater hero, so let's call it to think Thor King Thermidor. <laughs> Very well done, young wizard. The resemblance was uncanny. How did you ever tell that King Amadeo had replaced me? Catherine? So it was a simple cook who helped you see through the imposter's disguise. I always liked Catherine. I know, I will let her know how much she means to me. We'll write her a poem, and you, you will read it to her. Oh, how romantic. Go to my writing desk and craft a poem expressing my gratitude. Then go read it to my dear, sweet Catherine. Make haste! Alright, so uh, he wants us to write her a poem, and apparently we have to read it. Alright then, uh, let's go make that poem. And I cut ahead to Catherine, because it is a pretty decent walk there, so, yeah. You did! I pray he's not too shaken up by his ordeal. A poem? For me? Oh, yes, yes. Please read it aloud. We take out the poem and begin to read. Blow in my darkest times away from this place. You were my light, my beacon, my grace. Though I paid you no heed, you stayed loyal in time of need. Your claws how dainty as they mold your sweet tart. Your kindness has cracked this crab shell apart. That was lovely. Please show the king my deepest gratitude. All right, so uh, back to the king, uh, Thermidor. We go. Oh, she liked the poem. I am so so happy. Thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough. You saved me and restored me to my throne. I could write you a poem. But wait, there is no time. You should return up above and tell Sir Homer Sunblade that the storm batteries are repaired. We will make sure the river claws do not damage them further. And uh, cut out to Sir Homer Sunblade. You're back. It looks like you were successful. The storm mill is back in business. I 
hope you didn't run into any trouble. What's that? A tale of two kings? A mad scientist? Crabs writing poetry? Well, that's quite an adventure you had, young wizard. And uh, we get the rockin' outfit, and I equip it here just to show you how it looks. Um, eh, whatever. <laughs> um, I don't wear it, obviously, because it gives you no stats or anything. It is no auction, so unfortunately, can't sell it. Um, I just do equip my uh, Crocopatra's uh, Silent Cloak over there. And, uh, yeah, so now I'm just showing you the quests that we have left. We are done with Crab Alley, guys. Um, that was really short place. I think it was like, what, we did it in three to four parts or something like that? Um, including this one, so, uh, not too long, but that's pretty good. Um, I think I go talk to Zane now, and I actually cut ahead to him, so we'll see you at Zane. Ah, you found the completed tome. All the wisdom we needed was here in this book. When the Order found the Golden Fang, it proved too powerful to control, but not too powerful to study. The spells of the Croconomicon are based on the Golden Fang's life and death magic, but they are far more reliable. The Order never should have upset the balance and ripped the Croconomicon. And that's going to be for this video, guys. Thank you for watching and